All right, hey guys, we're back again. It's Eric with Pixel Rookie. Uh, we're in Death's Gambit trying to do a full playthrough. So last time was kind of a long episode. Uh, probably going to split it into two parts, actually. So we've beaten the Owl King. Then we've beaten the Forgotten Gaian. We've beaten the Phoenix and then also the Tundra Lord. So that is what four down. And you can see uh, we have the last one to go to get the air dodge. Takahashi's Bane. So that's what we want to get. Hopefully we'll defeat the Bulwark finally and be able to do that. But what we want to do in the meantime is talk to him. Acolyte of death at your disposal. You what? No, I trade a path of spirituality. A liaison for his chosen. Namely, you. I can disenchant clutter in your inventory. Enhance equipment with the right materials and can offer guidance regarding your newfound immortality. We'll just come over and we'll bongo. I don't care. <laughs> I like the idea of bongoing. So what we want to do is uh, disenchant some of these items. So these ground items or melee weapons we're never going to use. So we're just going to disenchant them for items. Uh, the shield, maybe. Strength, finesse. So, actually, I don't know what boots we have on currently. Vitality 4. So, that's much better for our situation. Now, we're going to do Fragile Courage. This is going to give us a lot more HP. And uh, we have a better healing item. So, I think we're pretty well equipped. One last thing we actually want to do is enchant items. And we're going to start upgrading our casting tome. And you can see... We're out of soul stones, so we'll need to get more of those. But now my uh, does 32 damage. I'm not sure what it did before, but this is going to be much higher than it was previously. At least ideally it will be higher than what it was previously. Let's talk to Ioni one more time. Nope, nothing new. So let's keep going. So yeah, definitely doing more damage. I just don't know how much more. I wasn't paying attention, but um. My hope is that I make it easier this time around and don't get killed by the bulwark so easily. Let's do it, guys. You return. Why won't you give up? Such foolish resolve. So what we want to do is chuck that immediately. Of course, we got hit immediately. Dodge here. So as long as we keep our distance, keep a burn on him, I think is good. Um, I think we'll be okay. So just got to keep our distance. But he, he's pretty good at closing the gap, but his three hit combo, he never stops it, which is good. I'm actually going to get this here in a minute. And ugh. so I got to move out of that. Man, he keeps whacking me. All right, so we'll just chuck that for now. Move out of here. Got to get rid of his minions. We'll heal up. Ooh. So make sure we keep burning him. And uh, at that rate, though, I think we'll be fine. Just kill him. And I should kill him right now. There we go. Hmm, it's interesting, right? Who could he be talking about of her? The Bulwark Shield. Now, this is an item that's really good, but I have no strength, so I won't be able to wield that at all, basically. But we can see here. Oh, that's a shield 30 toughness, or 30 strength. It's an A toughness, though, versus... Oh, I don't even have the stats to equip it, so I can't even show you. But uh, now that we've done that, I have enough talent points. I have enough, I believe, experience. So this is perfect. What we'll do is unlock this. And then what you'll be able to see here in a second, once I get this great sword plus two, which I don't really need, but I can disenchant it. Yeah, my air dodge. See, it's a very good item. And here's Numira. We'll talk to her again real quick. Apologies. You've saved me, and I've yet to introduce myself. I am Nymeria from Mistra, the Spring Isles. 
As promised, I have some teachings for you. Shall we begin? She's more the archer type, so it doesn't really help me too much. So let's talk to him real quick. Okay, so talk to him oh, again. Now, despite these lands, to the west lies, to the east lies, if you're feeling it. Oh, so I guess I need to go further in that area, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Oh, actually, there it is. A uh, thousand. Fifteen percent. Increased shards gain. Now that's good and all, but Crest of Gaia, we want to buy this. Now the reason we want to buy this, I'll come down and save, and I'll show you, because it's, uh... Of course he's meditating, yeah, aka sleeping, so... I hope that I can still access this area now. But let's see. If not... You know, we'll come back to it later. But this is the reason this is so important. The Crest of Gaia lets me come up here. This place is really hard. I'm not even close to leveled. But now that I have this air dodge, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. The observatory. Should have known you'd eventually show up. Yeah, here he is being all hardcore again. The creatures that reside here are unlike anything I've ever seen. It'll take more than your obnoxious grit to get through. Yes, yes, you're immortal. Without the fear of death, you will never reach your full potential. Death is merely an inconvenience for you, not a limitation. We train, we fight, to push our limits. But what are yours? When you have nothing to lose, pray they don't capture you. And he leaves, of course, because he's a little weenie. Little weenus. Alright. So, I'm definitely going to get rid of my Fragile Courage, because there's a very good chance I'll die here. But, what we do here, dodge past him. Oh no, I can't dodge past him. Okay. Well then, we might not be able to beat this. We'll see. I'm the. I didn't realize those barriers were up, so. I actually don't know, because I think if he hits me once, I'm pretty much dead. Whew. I could be wrong. Alright. So he's dead. This will I. Alright, so we'll see if there's any more of those barriers. Uh, yep, there are. Man. So I don't know if I'll be able to get through here or not. It's going to be tough. But the bright side is I do uh, enough damage. I can kind of get by. Oh, shoot. That does a lot of damage, though. So... Now, these things I have to kill immediately, so I'm pretty sure they'll summon more bosses if I don't, which is terrible in my situation. Oh, no! Oh, that's so unfortunate. Ugh. Okay, we can get through here. It's not very far. It's not very far at all where I need to go. All right, let's hit him with this. Let my stamina recover. Ugh. All right, hit him again. Make sure he can't get that. I don't even know what that does, but it's probably not good. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can see he does a ton of damage. It's crazy how much damage he does. All right. Ugh. Oh, he gave me a searing wound. That's what it is. Okay. Ugh. All right. I don't think I... All right. Ugh. All right, so gotta burn him down. Ugh. 
All right, so I defeated him. A still great hammer times 10. Yeah, that guy is bad. All right, I think I made it. I think I made it. Oh shit, I need to, oh, okay, that's not good. I forgot about that too. So I have to do this without actually healing. Hmm. Oh, I have a healing cell, which. All right, so I have this parasite. I don't know what it does, but I imagine it's bad. So I'm gonna drop hit and get that out of there. Oh shoot. All right, so I need to heal again. Now, this is a place I'm not entirely on now. That's good, if you see over here. Whew. All right, so let me get this and get this, and when they get close, I'll blow them up. Okay. So, I'm just not sure where to go, and since I have to... See, the issue right now is... Um, Basically, if I heal, I can't open that chest, and I completely forgot about that caveat. Um, and I need to get through without healing, essentially. And so, oh shit, yeah, I might be dead here. And I need to stop him from doing his thing, because he's going to summon more bosses. The nice thing is, this is a lot of experience, so I can... Well, die, I suppose. So, dang. Okay, so I gotta be really careful through here and try not to... Oh, another cutscene. Here we go. <laughs> I'm glad. But you know I wasn't always a soldier. <laughs> You'll have plenty of time to figure it out. Just remember, whatever you do, give it your all. Okay? Okay, so we're back. So, need to level up, and I'll actually level up my vitality to 10, and then work my intelligence up to 30. Now, with this area, I forgot, there's lasers, so if you defeat, uh, if you encounter someone, basically what happens is, ooh, yeah, that's not good. I'm just gonna heal now. That's a terrible start. But basically, I can't heal if I wanna get through to this. So that's where we're at. Oh my god. So, yeah, another terrible start. Because I need to get to that, basically to that chest. So, that's uh, the issue we're at. Woo! Man, I keep screwing that up. Okay. <laughs> we'll get him. We'll get him, guys. I promise. Ugh. Just need to... Okay, there he's doing his thing. Just burn him. Ah! Okay. Come over here. Alright, don't let him charge that. Alright, he's defeated. What'd he drop for me? Alright, so... The stupid Owl King is the issue. Signed. Oh shit. I just need to get through to him. And I'll be good. Ooh. All right, got to get ready to dodge. All right, I think I got him. All right, grab this. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I think I did it. Now I gotta kill him, of course. Gather that, avoid that little guy. I think I got it, guys. Woohoo! Yeah, boy! All right, Void Plume. Now let's take a look at this real quick. 520 health, increases intelligence by five for 10 seconds after. So, versus 240. So this is going to be substantially better, 520 versus 240. So you can see, um, I probably don't want to hang around here too much longer just because it's so much uh, 
like harder bosses and enemies, I'm just gonna get owned. So we'll go ahead and save here. And we'll go and start clearing some more paths. Got what I needed from here though. I feel pretty accomplished. That was tough. It was trickier than I thought. I forgot about some of that stuff, but we got what we needed. Now, something else that I read, uh, I think I told you before, this shield has some significance. I don't have the strength to equip it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, but if you show the shield to her, it will uh, create a quest line, I guess. Not that I've done it before, but that's my understanding. All right. So now uh, that we've gone through that area, we've accessed past the bulwark. Oops. Now, I'm not going to go through that area yet because it's a little bit too hard. So instead, what's he doing there, though? Hey, one second. I don't remember him being out there. So let's take a look at what he has to say. Now that I've beaten the bad guy for him, he's just standing there. Let's see what he has to say. Still here. Hmm. Your tenacity will expire eventually, even if your life doesn't. I can only hope that your men's sacrifice isn't in vain. That your survival might be their rage incarnate. But I'm not one to put stock in negligence. I know what I want. It's all you flippant, rimbling draftees and militia that irk me. What are you here for? Glory. How many have died for your failure? How many more will continue to suffer? Go home. Yeah, so he's grumpy. We'll re-equip this too. So I'm very pleased that we unlocked that item though. So this is going back around. We'll actually go down this way. I don't recall exactly what's down here. So we'll just make our way through it and see uh, where it takes us. Uh, Darkness Falls. So yeah, what we'll want to do is equip the Sunstone. There's some enemies that we'll need to uh, use for it. Get him. All right. Crow plume, sunstone. Now, see this guy, of course. Uh, oops. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, he's really hurting me. Come on. Dick. <laughs> All right, so that did a lot of damage. Of course, you have here. And I got poisoned, but that's OK. We can always go back and heal. Um, of course, I can't see because the Tome of the Dark Knight's blocking everything. And I'm about to die. Need to heal up. All right. So let's see here. And it's hard to see, so I'm just kind of uh, attacking since it's all air attacks. I can. All right, I'm not sure what he was up to, but he's dead now. So he's up to nothing now. All right. Oop. You know what? I feel like there's something over here. All right, secret hidden. Uh, area, I got the second Tome of the Dark Knight. All right, so we'll rest. And we'll go ahead and level up. Let's get the intelligence back up some more. Confirm that. And honestly, I think for this one, uh, that's a pretty good spot. Um, we're making our way down. You can see with the tomes, we're making our way to the Death Knight or the Dark Knight. Let's see. The uh, Dark Knight, yeah. So we're making our way down to him. And he's kind of tough. He was the guy in that cutscene earlier where he was just cutting up the men. He looks kind of like a combination of Venom if he went into Berserk uh, with guts in his Berserk armor. So that's kind of what he is. Um, so we're making our way down to him. We'll beat him next episode and make our way around, fight some other bosses and continue to go through Death's Gambit. But thank you guys for watching. Until next time, have a good one.